In production and cost six, we just got done looking at this cost table and um, then graphing the average variable cost, average total cost, and marginal cost for one firm. And then we used knowledge about the shutdown rule and assuming that there are exactly 100 firms, we graphed these marginal costs and quantities and said that this is where a market supply curve comes from because if one firm would be willing to produce 10 units at $650 well then 100 firms each producing 10 units at $650 would give us this point on a market supply curve and using a similar logic we fill out the rest of the points on the supply curve down to the point where firms would shut down and in this case it would be at a price of $238.33 where firms shut down and produce zero and so from that point on the supply curve takes a left turn and goes promptly to a quantity of zero at any price below that shutdown price so what can we do now well first we notice here that by design I created this example so that the equilibrium market price is about four hundred dollars maybe a little less now that price for each firm is going to be a price right about here where it's at the minimum of average total cost and so if the market price is four hundred dollars and the market quantity is six hundred with 100 firms, that means that each firm must be producing about um, six units. So, but that's probably a little less than 400. Um, if we look at the price up here, at $400, each firm would produce six units. And also, if it was a, the price is a little less than 400, down to 390, firms would each want to produce six units. And so that's what I had in mind when I created this example. I wanted you to think about us being in long-run equilibrium where firms are breaking even, making no economic profit. So there's no reason for anything to change at this point. However, I'm going to create some market disruptions here to show you what would happen. Now, I have Excel set up here to where I can automatically do some things. And let me resize this so you can see the whole thing at once, even though things will get a little small. Okay, I don't want to hurt anyone's eyes. And so we're going to look at the table first, and then we're going to look at the graphs to see what changes. Now, two things that could happen in a market. Number one, we could have the government put an excise tax. Now, an excise tax is... is something that a business might have to pay for each unit that it sells that doesn't depend on the price. So suppose that the government said, well, each unit that this business sells, they have to pay their labor, their materials, and they also have to pay their normal profit and their they have their uh, fixed costs like rent. But the government says, now you also have to pay us for every single unit you produce an excise tax. Now think about what that's going to do to the cost structure of the business. Since this excise tax only has to be paid for each unit you produce, if you produce no units, it's not going to affect the business if you shut down and produce nothing. So it's not going to affect fixed costs. It will affect variable costs though. Your variable costs are going to go up. Your average fixed costs won't change your average variable cost will change your total cost will average total cost will change now your marginal cost will change also and notice what happens here your marginal cost will go up by exactly the amount of the tax so I'm gonna make it a hundred dollar tax and each of these marginal costs are gonna jump up by exactly a hundred dollars when that happens so marginal costs 490 295 etc instead of $100 less. So I wanted you to see what happens there. Now also, you notice when the excise tax went on, the total costs went up, variable costs went up, average variable, average total, and marginal all went up. Now let me turn that to zero again so you can see how things change. Now another kind of thing that could happen in a market is a license fee. 
and a government might say, you know, in order to be in this industry, you have to buy a business license from us every year. And we're going to make that license fee, let me just go ahead and make that $100 also. Now think about what that's going to change. A license fee you have to pay, well, instead of $100 a year, think about this as a daily basis. So you have to pay this every day. Uh, maybe it's three hundred and you know thirty six thousand a year, a hundred dollars a day though, and um, that's going to be a fixed cost because it's a license fee. It does not depend on how much you produce. Watch for the fixed cost to go up. Total costs will also go up, but your variable costs will not because a license fee like this does not depend on how much you produce. I'm going to put in this license fee increasing fixed costs and watch what happens. I'll make that $100. So your average total costs go up. Marginal costs don't. Variable costs do not go up. Now let's look at these same effects on the graph. Let's go down here. Okay, so let's watch what happens to the cost curves for one firm over here and for the whole market if I put in a $100 excise tax. Remember, the equilibrium price in this market is $400, and that's where all the firms are breaking even and producing six units. But then the government puts in a $100 per unit excise tax. Watch carefully what happens. The marginal cost, average total cost, and average variable cost curves jump upwards. And now, if the market price were still $100, then all the businesses will be losing money. But that's not what's going to happen, because look over here in the entire market. Because the marginal cost curve jumped, this supply curve jumped up also. And so, look at the new equilibrium price. It looks like it would be about $450 or $460. Now, if the market price is now $460, remember before at $400, the firms were breaking even. Let's look over here at $460. What will each firm be doing? Now, if we look up at the marginal cost, each firm will now want to only produce five units. And at five units, $460 is below average total cost. So you can see immediately what effect an excise tax will have in an industry. First, the equilibrium price is going to go up. Second, even though the price went up because it was caused by an excise tax, each firm will be producing fewer quantity, you know, lower quantity. The equilibrium quantity in the market is now maybe around 550 each firm is going to be producing a lower quantity. And now also every firm is going to be losing money. So what's going to happen in the long run if firms are losing money? Well, they're going to start dropping out of the industry. And they're going to have to drop out of the industry until the price gets to be the minimum of the new average total cost, including the tax. And a lot of times when people analyze taxes, they leave out this second part. They just say, well, the price will go up, the quantity will go down, but that's just the first stage because in the long run, firms will drop out of the market until the price goes up again from about uh, 460 to about 490 in this case. That's the minimum price that is sustainable where firms will stop dropping out. Now what we might ask is how many firms is that? Well, I have my Excel spreadsheet set up here to where we can lower the number of firms to like 98 and watch that equilibrium price. All right, 95, not quite enough, 90 firms. Hey, now we're getting close to a market price of about 490, but maybe not quite enough. So maybe we'd need to go down to 85 firms. Maybe that's a little too many. So with 85 firms, we've shown that the intersection of supply and demand gives a high enough market price in order to allow these firms to break even now with the excise tax. So an excise tax is great for governments, but it harms consumers, it harms businesses, it raises the price because of the tax, and then it will also raise the price as it forces businesses to drop out of the industry 
raising price again. And so this is an interesting result from just what we've been learning here in an elementary treatment. Now, let me reset set this and look at uh, a license fee. All right, now we're reset, and I'm going to put in a license fee of $500, and watch what happens to the average total cost curve. It jumps up. And so if the market price was 390 then the only result that's going to happen now is that all the businesses are going to be losing money. But in the long run, since all the businesses are losing money, firms will drop out. And firms will drop out, here we go to 80 firms, until the market price gets to be about 480 or so where firms will be breaking even again. And so we could try to see about how many firms that would be and maybe about 75 would be it.